Good morning. So today we are, we are going to talk about internet. Um, so recently I came across uh, quite a few articles about how the British government and uh, the United States are uh, discussing about new laws to how control misinformation. So what is misinformation? Misinformation, according to common sense, misinformation from governments is basically when uh, you are telling something that they are not happy about, that compromise uh, their power and uh, compromise the power of the, their employers. Because as you know, our politicians uh, count less than nothing. And uh, so that's what they label as a misinformation. So with those like uh, laws they are discussing, they are talking about uh, a way to prevent uh, misinformation that basically give them the power to block you from say something or fine you or even arrest you. Why this is happening? This is happening because internet as a as everything you know is a tool and that as any tool can be used for good and bad as uh, we know the most famous is gunpowder um, that was used for fireworks and then uh, became uh, a way to kill people and we can go on and on and on there is always the way to use things in a meaningless way or in a meaningful way. Internet uh, since uh, arrived uh, worldwide obviously had this uh, huge potential. Obviously it had a huge potential for destruction, that's how it has been used obviously. <clears throat> Uh, until now, but at the same time, we were lucky enough, at least my generation, to have the opportunity to use it as well in a meaningful way, to gain information that we would not have from mainstream media, um, to gain personal information that we would not gain from school, and uh, to gain uh, a knowledge they would not find it anywhere else or if we, we would find it it would require so much time and effort while with internet everything is at hand anything I need to know anything I don't understand I can go on internet and uh, find the answers this is no more convenient for uh, the people that are really running this uh, society. It's been uh, okayish until now because it was not challenging them massively. It was kind of like okayish because it wasn't not widely spread. But now, now everybody have a phone everywhere everyone can access internet and that's when people started to find the answers that's where people started to create a bigger community worldwide with alternative narratives to the mainstream narratives where community created their own some cases society and that's what not that's not what the, 
the power wants. There's no what he's in power. Remember that most of the people in power right now are unelected people. Uh, or if elected legally, if we can call it legally, they been they have been elected by you know using lies or uh, you know like in case of Brexit, you know frightening people with uh, immigration terrorism that uh, for some strange coincidences before Brexit there were terrorist attacks as they say they were and then after Brexit after UK came out of Europe, those terrorist attacks disappear as it for like a magic coincidence. So without going into conspiracy theory uh, paths, internet, it became so powerful that obviously for uh, a lot of us, there is no more need to listen to what uh, they tell us or, uh, you know, to just blindly believe to what they tell us on the mainstream media because we do have alternative information. And as we have alternative informations, we can uh, share those alternative information, giving alternative information to millions of people. And that's not what they wanted. Um, the case of Julian Assange, arrested for uh, spreading alternative information about uh, the war crimes of the United States, United Kingdom, and so on, war crimes masked as a peaceful action or action for bring freedom to this country that uh, is nothing more than just uh, gain more power, control. And uh, the side effects are millions of debt. What they're trying, what they're trying with those new laws is to create, I might be wrong, but it seems we're heading there, they are, at least we, they're trying, is to create a system like in China. Now, what is happening in China, from me, that uh, I'm friends with a lot of Chinese, I am... Um, I know people that lived in China recently in the last years. So my information doesn't come from what I read on the internet only. It comes from uh, first hand from people that are from there and they live there. They have a system, it's called social credit system, where everything goes through to their phone, through an app. The, this app through this app, anything you share on the internet, it's recorded through this app. Every transactions, everything you purchase, you go through this app. And you have a, a po you have a points. So anything that it's you know from the government central uh, uh, system, it's considered wrong takes point away from your social credit system so those points basically allowed you to certain uh, commodity like you know i don't know go to the gym uh pay train tickets traveling um buy food uh, buy clothes and so on so once that certain points are gone and let's make that let's make let's take an example you have 100 points you lose 10 points so above 90 points you can buy train tickets but from 90 points or below 90 points you are not allowed so you lose those 10 points 
you try to buy a train ticket to go and visit the uh, family in another town and you can't because everything goes through this uh, central hub so every your payment goes through that everything you say on internet messages to friends anything you share online it's recorded by this app that uh, it's uh, directly connected uh, to the their central system so there like there is certain things that in the central system has been basically can be said is uh, something that cannot be said so obviously the central system it's able to reach all the people and uh, automatically um, take away points if you say something that was in the system was decided to be uh, wrong so you are controlled 24 hours because everything goes through this phone you are basically controlled to anything you say you do anywhere you go everything you say or you share some really sensitive information the government is not happy they will know straight away they will know where you are they will know where to take you as already happened as many people in china disappear all of a sudden so most of the people is unaware about what the green pass was it was a test it was a test and uh, to see how it could work before uh, the so-called uh, COVID pandemic Nobody would ever accept something like that. Obviously, they need to create a problem so that uh, they will uh, offer you a solution. And normally, after with this solution comes restriction. As we know from the Twin Towers, no point to go back to that. But we know what happened and we know what was the solution and the side effects of their solutions. We are powerful. As a collective, we are powerful. So you need to understand that anytime who is in, in power, and then again, who is in power are not our politicians, they are nothing more than puppets. Who is in power? needs us so they can have the, their privileges so that's why they created the castes why we are the lower caste we are living in a system where they made us to believe to be freedom to be free and to have a freedom that we don't they give us the idea that we can be like them we can the system is created for them and for us and we are the ones serving them and the system is created for that so once something is changing or the people are waking up like it happened in the 60s they know that they have they must quickly react with restrictions and those restrictions can be just that throw that otherwise they will have massive resistance so they create problems like uh, it can be terrorism one day can be diseases another day can be climate crisis now so that they can create restrictions so that they can prevent a mass awakening they will go against their privileges and this is what is happening right now 
So as, as quick as you see that the law is changing, like the anti-strike law in UK as the end of end encryption. So basically they, they wants to end for safety reasons the private messages that basically could not be checked or controlled by uh, the government. So as we can see, we can see that there, was, there are quick changes in how and how we live our life with massive and huge restrictions. And that's because there is a very quick uh, awakening. So more and more people very, very quickly are questioning. More and more people are waking up. And as fast as people waking up, as fast as possible, they need to react, to block people from waking up and put them asleep. That's, that's how for centuries they maintains their privileges. The school system is created, is made to create workers to maintain their privileges, mortgages for houses. I mean, this is, I think, is one of the most obvious, obviously, if you are awake enough, you as a human being need the roof over your head that I see as a, as a right. You are made to believe you need to pay thousands of pounds or euro. So you need a mortgage and that you're gonna pay for the rest of your life and you have to work for the rest of your life. The banks are run by the same people that owns the majority of big company. And the connection with politician is very strong because they place those people there to serve them. So our working until death is to maintain the privileges that their huge luxury, expensive lifestyle. We work for them. To maintain the privileges they are willing, as they already did many, many times in the past, to kill murdering people, destroying economies to put millions of people on poverty and dying for diseases, starvations and so on. Those people, uh, they are soulless. Don't see us as a human, they see us as numbers, disposable numbers that can be replaced. Remember, there is always a reason why there are a rich part of the world and a poor part of the world. There is always a reason why within the same country that is another system to control people. They made us to believe that if you were born inside a piece of land, you cannot go to another piece of land that is inside the same planet without a piece of paper called passport. So within the same land, there are the rich and the poor. The poor are always the caste that needs to serve the rich. Remember that. You were born enslaved first from your human body so you already were a slave of your instinct so freedom never really been anything than just a, a word probably meaningless word you maybe can control your emotions but you are not freedom to choose to born or die you are not freedom you don't have a freedom to live a peaceful, a stress-free life. They use 
every single moment of your life to keep you in chain, painful chain. Who really few people won't spend a day without stress. Very few people won't spend a day without suffering. Everything is created by design. Not teaching people how to use the right mental skill, how to not use the right the right way, the tools that we have, that can be internet. Obviously, it's in purpose that we have been taught to use it to gain knowledge, but to be used for meaning like activity. So, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Um, yes, obviously, we can go on uh, something that I do like to believe that everything is happening for a reason. There is a bigger picture, and uh, again, like I said many times in other videos, as many people that had near death experiences, this is just an illusion. A moment I do believe, a moment I believe less. But they say this is an illusion, it's just a school for us to grow. Well, if this is a school to learn and grow, and everything is in the way it is for us to learn and grow, then uh, I think it's time, at least for me, the time arrived to say no more. And in my way I do, that's why I run my life in the way I do. No point to, no point to live life in this way suffering, working hard for the benefit of very few people, the circumstances placed in that position. So it's time to, it's time to pass the exam. <laughs> it's time to pass this uh, life exam. And, uh, and finally being able to bring a bit of heaven in this sick herd. Hmm? Let's try. Have a good day to everyone.